A 100-foot tall sign could soon be on the Tucson skyline. This is an artist's rendering of what it would look like. It's above the height requirements for most signs, but today the Sign Code Advisory and Appeals Board considered making an exception. Not in your sides, Christina Myers has more on why and what this would mean for redevelopment on the south side. Construction crews are already hard at work on the new Cinemark Movie Theater. It's set to open this summer in the Tucson Marketplace at the Bridges that's slowly been building off I-10 near Kino Parkway. This is really an area that had been underserved for, uh, for years regarding uh, retail and commercial opportunities. Already flanked by retail giants Walmart to the west and Costco to the east, the movie theater will add to the growing 350-acre development. But developers want to make sure you not only can't miss it from the highway, but can also see it from as far away as downtown. So they proposed this 100-foot sign that would extend nearly 60 feet above the roof. At 100 feet tall, the sign is roughly the height of an eight-story building. That's half the size of this building, Tucson's second tallest. The theater sign is considered an integrated architectural feature because it's actually part of the building, so it's not subject to the same laws as other signs. This cross on St. Mary's Hospital is another example of an integral architectural feature recently approved by the board. Still, the board voted to deny the Century sign with only one member having an issue with the height. But Cinemark can now make an appeal to mayor and council. Either way, building of the movie theater will still go forward. And soon, this empty space will also be filled with a Dave & Buster's, Planet Fitness, and a hotel. Christina Myers, KGA 9, on your side.